Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day on Lazy Keto. <laughs> so I am out and about taking a walk because it is probably around 80 degrees here today and it is beautiful. It's such a nice day for a walk. And considering there isn't anything else to do around here, that is what we're doing. As most of you guys know, you guys know that I love to be outdoors. I love to go for walks. I love to go hiking and all that good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna talk to you for a second because because I feel like the camera is like shaking when I'm trying to talk to you guys and walk at the same time. Plus I feel like I can breathe better when I'm not walking and trying to talk at the same time. <laughs> so how are you guys doing and what have you guys been up to? Leave a comment down below, let me know. Let me know how you're holding up in this situation. I feel like this whole situation has so many people, including myself at times, where we just feel off, like things are just off right now. And unfortunately, like, that's just kind of the new norm for a little while. But again, it's not going to last. And let's pray that this is over with soon. We can't let down our guard now. I mean, even though they think we may be kind of hitting the peak, this is not the time to let down our guard. So just be careful out there, you guys. Wash, you know, you know all the things to do. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. You go out in public. Wear glasses. Wear a mask. I am so thankful though because like I said my son the one that has asthma works at Walmart so I've been terrified for him because I'm like oh my gosh dear Heavenly Father please don't let him get that they told their employees that they have to wear the masks it is mandatory now so I'm very thankful for that another thing too how are you guys doing with like homeschooling your kids stuff like that I can't even imagine if you guys have young kids because like Tyler for instance so Lynn was already doing homeschool so she's you know, easy peasy breezy, she loves it. Tyler, on the other hand, hates it. I mean, granted, he's a senior, but he hates it. He would rather be in school. Um, and he, he even said, he's like, I do better in school. He's like, I can't concentrate at home. I feel for all the seniors out there. If you have a senior or if you're a senior, I feel for every single one of you guys. He feels like he's lost. He feels like he got cheated. You, you know, I mean, he's never going to experience prom, you know, from the sounds of it, he's probably not going to walk to get his diploma. Um, it's just craziness, you know, it's craziness. All these seniors got gypped. They waited their entire lives to get gypped, you know, and I feel so bad for Tyler because he mentioned that the other day. He's like, I kind of feel lost. I was like, oh honey, I was like, don't feel lost. I was like, we're gonna get through this. You're gonna be okay. You have, you have us. <laughs> so, you know, it just, it's sad. It really is. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope your families are doing okay and staying healthy. I'm gonna finish my walk and then I am going to eat my first meal of the day. I did have um, two cups of coffee with one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream in them. And I probably won't eat. I've been eating like around one because I've been making sure I intermittent fast and all that good stuff. So for now, let's finish this walk. So the first meal of the day, I'm gonna have some biscuits and gravy. This is what I made, one of the things that I made in my meal prep video. This is absolutely delicious. So definitely stay tuned for that video. That video comes out on Thursdays at 6 p.m. But that is actually two biscuits that I just cut in half. And then I didn't put anything on them. I left them plain and then I just covered them in the sausage gravy but oh my goodness does that not look delicious like i said definitely stay tuned for that recipe because it is so stinking good just gonna have some water in my little disney cup there these cups are so stinking old you guys so i am gonna go enjoy right, back from my walk ate breakfast now i'm just drinking my apple cider vinegar drink that i drink pretty much every single day or i try to and um, I normally link it up in an iCard for you guys, but I think I'm gonna link it in the description box this time because I don't think um, everybody knows what an iCard is because I still get a ton of questions as to where I linked it. So instead of putting it up in an iCard, I'm gonna put it in the description box below. But if you guys wanna get your apple cider vinegar in, definitely check that out because it's delicious and um, obviously nutritious as well because I do add some seasonings and stuff as well 
basically this is just a very nutritious drink that you could add to your day and it's delicious. All right, so it is about an hour and a half, two hours before I'm going to eat my dinner. So I am gonna make myself a little treat and it's gonna be delicious. So this is the Preferred Elements Keto Collagen. This is just one of many that I absolutely enjoy. Um, this is, again, the Preferred Elements. This is the vanilla one. This is the one that they recreated and it is so much better than the first one. This has such amazing flavor. It's, it like pops, it's so good. But I'm gonna put in one scoop of that, probably a cup of almond milk, a couple tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and then I'm gonna throw in there maybe a third to a half a cup of these red raspberries. There are the macros. So for one cup, the carbs are 17, but the fiber is nine. So like I said, I'm only gonna have a third of a cup to maybe a half a cup. So that would be, there's probably gonna be about four carbs in this, but that's four carbs that is totally worth it because this is delicious. And I might even make it like a fourth a cup to a third a cup. So that way it'll only be a couple of carbs. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. All right, so everything's in there. Now I'm just gonna blend this up. If y'all haven't tried your collagen in like a smoothie form, you really should, because it's really, really good. And when I make a chocolate one, I like to put in there a little bit of almond milk, some of the chocolate collagen, and um, like half of a large avocado or maybe the whole small avocado. Oh my golly, it is so good. So thick and smooth and good. You guys really need to try some collagen smoothies. They're good. So we are keeping dinner super simple. All I'm gonna do is I am going to cook up this ground beef. All I did is put some salt and pepper on there. And then um, I used the Himalayan pink salt and the black pepper. And then I get this Kirkland Organic Broccoli Flowerettes. These are steamable bags here. Um, you can just put them in the microwave for five minutes and then it cooks the broccoli. These are so good. I don't know what the difference is between the broccoli and these and like other broccolis that you buy, but I'm telling you this broccoli is delicious. It almost has like a sweet flavor. I don't know, it's weird, but it's really, really good. So um once that's all cooked up and browned then i'll probably um take the broccoli put it over the hamburger and then maybe throw a little bit of butter on top of there or some cheese or something but either way it's going to be simple yet delicious all right so here is my last meal of the day so that is the ground beef down there i promise you there's ground beef down there I did put broccoli on top of that with a little bit of cheese, some sour cream, as well as some sriracha. This is going to be so good. And of course, you got to mix it all in together. All right, y'all. So Kettle and Fire reached out to me and they want to give you guys a code to get the Kettle and Fire soups and bone broths on sale for 20% off. This is an amazing deal and 20% off is a pretty big chunk in my opinion. This company is an amazing company to work with and their soups and bone broths are amazing. I was actually going to have one of the soups for my dinner and then I was gonna have one of those salmon patties that I made that you will see in my meal prep video as well. I was gonna have those together as my dinner. But honestly, I decided against that because I like to save these for the days that I go to work because there are times where I go to work and I'm like, oh crap, I don't have any meal prep food left. These are my lifesaver right here. This is what I have because this is super easy. You can just throw it in your bag and take it anywhere, heat it up, and you're good. But these are the only ones that I have left, so I wanted to save them. I am going to leave their link in the description box below. Go down and check them out. The, like I said, these are the only ones I have left. So I have the bone broth and the mushroom chicken. There are the macros for that one. And there's two servings per container, but considering this is only 50 calories, like if 
if I were to take this to work, I would just have the whole thing, to be honest with you. And yes, bone broth, um, I could totally make that my meal. I actually really like bone broth. It is made from real bones, organic, free range certified chickens, slow simmered, collagen, amino acids, proteins. These two here are actually soups. So this one is the mushroom biscuit, and then this one is the uh, broccoli and cheddar soup. I actually did a video where I made a broccoli cheddar dip. Um, I will link that below for you in the description box as well if you want to go down there and check that out. And then this is another bone broth. This is the coconut curry and lime. This one's actually really, really good. There are the macros for that one. But anywho, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave the link in the description box below. So this is just a select few of the flavors that they have. So like I said, just go down there, click that link, check them out. If you decide to buy anything, use the code MISTY STOCKUP, M-I-S-T-I-S-T-O-C-K-U-P, and that will get you your 20% off. And the code that I just gave you will be good from 420 today through 430. So 10 days to use that code to get your 20% off. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna enjoy for the evening is one of these perfect keto uh, chocolate cookies. So this one is the double chocolate. Uh, I already got into it the other day but I only ate one of them because if you eat both of them, they're four net carbs. But if you only have one, they are two net carbs per cookie. Technically, the serving size is the entire um, package. So all of the macros there are based on if you ate both cookies. But I'm just gonna enjoy the one. So that is what they look like. They're a soft bake cookie. Um, so there's no crunch to them. I actually had somebody ask me that if they were crunchy or soft. They are definitely soft, not crunchy at all. So if you're a soft baked cookie type of person, you'll probably love these. But if you're a crunchy cookie type person, then um, this may not be your favorite. But I personally love these. The double chocolate one's really good, like the one I'm going to enjoy right now. But my favorite is actually the chocolate chip one. And those are the ones that I've been really eating on. But I decided to have the chocolate one this time. So this is going to be delicious, y'all. If you guys want to try it, there will be a link in the description box below. So today is actually the next morning. I was so tired last night. And I think what wore me out is because I ended up doing a five mile walk because this weekend was the weekend that we were supposed to do that Pat Tillman walk and of course it got canceled so I was like you know what even though I'm not gonna do the Pat Tillman walk I'm I just decided that I was going to um, do the walk anyway you know for myself because that's what we do around here y'all we do things for ourselves <laughs> that's why we're doing keto that's why we're trying to be healthier because we're doing it for ourselves so that's what I decided to do so I ended up walking five miles yesterday and let alone all the other things that I did yesterday between cooking and cleaning and you know all the things that we always got to do I was so tired I totally forgot to close out the video so I'm just gonna close out with this I've had people ask me you know do you count macros um, you know, are you still losing weight or, you know, what's your goal weight? I don't count macros. Um, I don't really have a goal weight. I'm actually comfortable with the way that I look now. People may still think that I'm like still overweight, which I am a little bit, but, um, you know, my main thing is to maintain, if not lose, but definitely not gain back. <laughs> everybody is different you know I may be comfortable where I'm at where somebody else may not be you know somebody else may um, think that they need to lose or want to lose or whatever 20 more pounds you know here's the thing I just turned 44 so I know 44 is not old however it's an age where I just want to be happy I just want to be happy with who I am and where I'm at in my life right now. Like I said, I absolutely don't want to gain weight and it would be nice if I lost more weight, but I'm not going to like kill myself. I hate counting macros. I'm not gonna do the things that I know are gonna set me off. Counting macros sets me off, big time. 
It makes me feel like I'm on a diet again. Diets never worked for me. All they do is stress me out and it's just, it makes it worse to be honest with you. So the biggest reason why I do keto is for my health. For my health is why I do keto. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I have hypothyroidism, which is a big deal when it comes to losing weight and gaining weight and all that good stuff because when you have hypothyroidism, you can gain weight so fast and it's so hard to lose weight on um, when you have hypothyroidism. And I'm not using that as an excuse, so you know, don't leave me some nasty comment saying you know, you're just using that as an excuse, because I'm not. What I am saying is that it is an obstacle when it comes to weight loss, you know, and I feel like the people that don't have hypothyroidism or don't know anybody that has it, that is struggling with it, they don't understand. Biggest goal is to not gain weight back. I have gained a little bit of weight back. I was very honest with you guys. I told you guys that. So I am intermittent fasting um, in a tighter window um, to get back the little bit of weight that I did gain back. So, um, and that's another thing too. I'm 4'11", <laughs> so I'm that person that can gain 5, 10 pounds and it looks like 30 or 40 on somebody that's tall. When you're 4'11", it doesn't take a whole lot for it to show on you. It really doesn't. Where somebody that's 5'8", 5'10", they could gain 5 pounds and nobody would ever know. <laughs> so I hope that does kind of answer everybody's question. I do keto more for health. I do keto, you know, because it gives me the energy that I need to get through my day. It gives me my clarity, my mental clarity. I feel good on keto, you guys. I feel amazing on keto. So this girl's just looking to be 44 years old and happy, to be honest with you. I hope you guys stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Don't forget wash your hands. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. And don't forget to go out there and make today even better than yesterday. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. I won't think twice when